Good morning, you guys, and welcome to Vlogmas week three. We are week three, y'all. I can't believe that December is almost over. We are halfway through. Christmas is literally about to be here in no time. So, y'all. <laughs> I just cannot believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But, y'all, this is Vlogmas Week 3. Today's Tuesday. It's currently about 7.45. I'm going on 8 o'clock. So, I'm getting ready for work. I have to go to work, unfortunately. So, I'm getting ready. Um, I'm just going to kind of show you guys my little how I get ready for work get ready with me for work like my little morning routine when I'm getting ready to head to work and what I typically do so first things first get up come to the bathroom I don't know I just always have to use the bathroom first thing in the morning because um I drink so much water at night and lately I've been doing I just started doing lemon water so I think that's been, it's been really good for my, my stomach, making it feel really good as far as, you know, my food digestion and things like that. So, lemon water does have some really good benefits. So, I think I'm gonna do another thing of lemon water this morning too. Cause I have some lemons in the fridge. I can just cut them up real quick. Put them in my water. But that's something that I've been doing. So, next. Go ahead and brush my teeth. Y'all, this video is not sponsored by Arm & Hammer, but this is my favorite toothbrush, the Arm & Hammer Peroxy Care. It's the only toothpaste I use. I love it so much. So I like to go ahead and brush my teeth and then I start on with my skincare. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush my teeth. After my teeth are brushed and nice and clean, I have some fresh breath. It is time for skincare. So I'm gonna give y'all kind of like my little morning skincare. It's super simple and super easy. As far as like my routine and all the products I use, I'll give y'all a more in-depth video soon. I promise y'all soon. So I'm gonna just show y'all what I do in the morning times. I keep it super simple because in the mornings I don't have a lot of time. Unless it's on the weekends, but more so, I don't have a lot of time during the week to really do a whole, whole lot. So the first thing that I like to do is use my Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This is my favorite cleanser and it has really helped a lot with clearing up my skin. I get my skin damp first wet i go in a little goes a long way that's why this bottle lasts me a long time i get that cleanser activated i saw this tip on jackie iron's channel she talked about how she learned it from twitter from an esthetician on twitter and i just go in and i clean my skin i wish i did have time to do a mask this morning because my skin is feeling pretty dry so you know, my skin is feeling a little, ooh, 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 I try to do like a little mask, you know, just to really exfoliate and get that hydration going. So I like to cleanse my face for a minute. I try to go over a minute because I don't really count. So I just sit here until I think like two minutes or a minute and a half has passed. And I stand here a long time and do this but that's another tip that i learned from jackie i know i think she said that she learned that from her esthetician so i learned a lot of skincare tips from her so if you are looking for some skincare tips jackie Anna's channel is a great tool and resource to really get like some skincare tips um a lot of things she's learned from her esthetician she really shares them which I'm thankful for because you know when a lot of people learn a lot of tips, they don't really share them. 
Yeah, a lot of people can't afford to go to institutions and dermatologists and things like that. So I do appreciate her for sharing those tips because a lot of us like myself wouldn't know if it weren't for people like her. And then I like to watch like little esthetician videos myself on YouTube. So um, I learned some things from YouTube as well from esthetician. So it's really, 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 really good. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna rinse this off. Mm -hmm. Rinse off paper towel. Only time I use a washcloth is if I have a mask and I need to get it off and I'll take a warm hot rag to do it. But because the paper towel be really tedious to get it off. And then I only use it one time and I make sure it's a clean washcloth. But in the morning, I keep a roll of paper towels in my bathroom and I dry my skin with paper towel. That's another tip that has helped to keep my to clear my skin up and keep it clear. I get breakouts every now and then. I don't have perfect skin, but it has helped to clear it up. So always, always dry your skin with paper towels. I don't do rags anymore. All right, so once I'm done with that, it's real simple, y'all. Eye cream. I like the Ola Harrington eye cream. Bright, banana bright eye cream. I'm almost out. I love this stuff, it smells so good. I need to get some more, I'm almost out of it. So I've been trying to use it sparingly because I know I'm out. But I take it and put it on the ring fingers, under eyes, the most fragile tissue. So I like to be very gentle with doing this. I go up under the eye. I even go on my eyelid too, even above the brow. So I eat that whole perimeter of my eye. And I just pat it in, I don't rub it in, like so. You see how that just brightened my under eyes up? So, you don't look sleepy, you don't look like you have dark, not dark, so you don't look like you, you know, you didn't get enough sleep, kind of helps refresh me, you know, even when I, the days I didn't get a lot of sleep. So it just helps like kind of refresh my skin, you know, give it a little boost in the mornings. Next, I'm taking this Inky List. This is the Hyaluronic Acid. I love these Inky Leaks. These next two Inky Leaks pro Inky List products that I'm about to use really have helped with my skin as well, keeping it nice and moisturized and hot, moisturized and hydrated. So it's been really good. See how that just added an extra boost of moisture to my skin. I like to go up, give myself a little. I think it's called a lymphatic massage. It basically helps like with fluid in your face. And then it's also good to go against gravity to help reduce wrinkles. <laughs> so another tip that I learned, I can't remember, I think an esthetician on YouTube, I don't remember if I had remembered, I would you know, definitely shout them out, but I don't remember because I've heard that from so many different places. Next, olive oil. I always take olive oil and I just dab it on my skin. This gives me that nice extra moisture and glow. Also gives me a nice little glow, you know. So I like using this to help add, you know, some moisture, extra moisture. Cause it is winter. Well, not winter, it's fall. And we're getting ready to transition in the winter and I have eczema really bad. So this helps, you know, with my skin and the dry patches and all of that. So I love using olive oil on my face. And last but not least, I like to use this Inky List Super Solutions 10% Urea Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer because it has SPF in it. It's super hydrating, it's lightweight and it moisturizes my skin day and night. So this is why I love this moisturizer. Make sure you guys get a moisturizer with SPF. If you don't have your own separate SPF for your skin, please make sure you find moisturizer with SPF. Because do not believe the hype. Black people can burn as well. So black don't crack, but it can burn. Like don't, 
Don't fall for the okie doke that we can't get sunburn, sunburn because we can. And I even go as far as going on my neck, everything like that. So, a little bit moisturizer is so, so good. So, that's pretty much it for my morning skincare. I use the add gloss in my purse on the way out for my lips. And that's pretty much it for skincare. So, you guys got a little morning, little skincare routine um, as well. So, yeah, look at me. Look at me, look at me. Hey guys, so the bed is made. So what I like to do next, come back in, make up my bed. Just get it nice and neat. Makes me feel accomplished for the day when my bed is made up. So it's made up. I do want to get a new comforter set because I really want to do like a different color, but what I want to do, I'm not sure yet. Anyways, next I am finding some clothes to work. There's nothing special about this because we're pretty much on a uniform. So there's nothing really special about my work outfit. I just put on some clothes for work and then that's pretty much it. So just grab a leggings and one of my work shirts and then throw on a jacket that's pretty much what i do for that so i'm gonna go ahead and get dressed really really quiet really really fast all right so now that i've gotten dressed just fyi because you know people you know where that positive negative resides as well so um I do take my showers at night and I get up in the morning and I just do a little refresher and then um, put my deodorant and lotion and everything like that on. I just did it off camera. Um, so yeah. On the weekends, morning and night, but weekdays, this night, the showers and we judge in the morning. So, now it's time for hair. Time for time for hair. So I did like a heatless roller sit on my hair. I typically have some type of natural protective style in, whether it be braids or whatever. But this time I have a heatless roller sit. And my curls got a little wet in the shower, so they looking a little crazy right now. So what I'm going to do is try to just them with my hands as much as I can. And then I'll probably end up doing like a half up, half down situation. I'm not gonna put any gel on my edges cause I do wanna be able to style it different ways. And then probably at the end of the week, I may re-roll it and do like a curl refresher. But typically this is the time in the morning where I, where I do my hair, I refresh my curls or whatever style that I have, I try to Judge it up again and make it look, you know, a little bit presentable for work. Hey, what's up, y'all? So today is Friday. Uh, we are continuing on with Vlogmas. This is week three. This is week three, I think. Hold on, this is week three. So it is week three, and I just got back home. I had to stop at Target to get a few things. I feel like in all these vlogs. I'm showing you guys stuff like from grocery wise, but this time I did get a little bit more than grocery stuff um, from Target, just, just a tab it. So if y'all don't know about Pop Show, I don't know what y'all doing. Here's my Chipotle bag in here. I'm getting ready to eat because I'm starving, but went to Pop Show earlier and I just have this lavender and, and almond oil eye cream and it's from Body Prescriptions. It's infused with lavender extract and the jojoba oil. So I'm excited to try this. So I'm gonna open it real fast because I just wanna see what it looks like and what it smells like. So it comes in a little cute little jar like this. This is so cute. And it's lavender, I love this, it's so cute. So take the little tab. Smells so good. I cannot wait to try this. So I'm gonna try this because 
I was in um, Pop Shelf and I was like, oh, I need an eye cream. So let me try this. Uh, I got a whisk. I needed another whisk and I wanted some one that was this material, like kind of, you know, strong enough for me to like whisk. So I needed a new whisk. One that was kind of like metal. The other one I had was very flimsy. Um, I got two seasonings, some poultry seasoning and some Cajun Louisiana seasonings. I didn't even know Pop Shell sold seasonings. I knew they had like candy and snacks and stuff until I really explored in the store. I didn't really know that they had like um, seasonings. So I have some braiding hair and some shiny jam because I am going to braid my hair tonight. Y'all, I got my hair braided Black Friday. And it was the most traumatic experience. I never had that type of experience going to the African braiding shop, but they braided my hair super tight. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and my scalp is getting more sensitive, but I picked up a few packs of braiding hair and I did end up getting this color, like a blonde, honey blonde color. I'm gonna braid my hair tonight at some point as soon as I find the energy to do that. So yeah, just a few groceries that I have. I had to pick up some more chicken broth. It was on sale for 99 cents. So I got two. Got some sliced pineapple, some vegetable broth because I do want to make some vegetable soup this weekend. I think I'm going to do that either Sunday or tomorrow. And I forgot to get some crackers because I know you need crackers for soup or some type of tortilla chip or something. So, but I really prefer mine with crackers, like rich crackers is what I prefer. Got a few packs of these Lunchables. I like the nachos with the cheese and dip salsa. Got just four of these, just to have like a snack, snack on, take for lunch or snack on around the house. Got some chicken breast, some chicken, because I want to make some chicken and rice next week at some point, been craving it. So some chicken, rice, and broccoli. I'm trying to make more healthier meals and be more conscious of my cooking choices, got some turkey bacon. I've been out of turkey bacon for a minute. So I finally remembered to grab some. I have some gray. And I also bought some strawberries. I love strawberries. I keep these in my fridge year round. I don't care if they in season or not, these still be good. Uh, what else did I get, y'all? Target. Got quite a bit of stuff and not really a lot of stuff because this ain't even like groceries. This is just light snacks stuff. So that was out of got laundry detergent, got Thai. That's what I use. And I use the game fabric softener and also the game dryer sheet. This is just some feminine wash that I got, the badges still one. This is the peach blossom scent. I've been obsessed with the smell of get this smells lately, I don't know why. I saved my bags, y'all, I recycled them. What else? I typically get the simple and clean tie, but I didn't feel like getting a big one, because I already have a big one, I just needed some more, I don't know, whatever. I also got this um, facial, spa facial steamer, this is Plum Beauty, I got this from Target, I'm gonna try, this. try this because this is kind of like a, one of my Christmas gifts to myself because I've always wanted a steamer and I feel like this will kind of take my skincare up to the next level. So I'm excited to try it. And I think I'm gonna do a video like steaming my face for the first time or I may incorporate it into the skincare routine that I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna be doing multiple skincares morning and night, but I think I kind of showed you guys a little bit earlier on in the vlog, my morning skincare, this is sneak peek, but that's gonna be my extensive skincare routine like at night when I'm doing masks and stuff. Just got some dry sheets. I always get the Gain original. I love the smell of Gain. This smells so good to me. So yeah, I got some Chipotle because I'm hungry. So I'm gonna put these away and then I'm gonna go ahead and eat. To that, I just wanted to show you guys some extra progress that I've made in the living room. I purchased these two uh, paintings uh, wall decor items from Dollar Tree. Um, in North Carolina, we have the Dollar Tree Plus. So like they have items that are $3, $5, basically items that are a little bit more than a dollar. I'm still looking for pillows to change on my couch. I think I showed you guys these. These are also from Dollar Tree. These were a dollar. These are $5 each. 
And you guys already saw the mirrors. I got these three $7 mirrors from Target. And I also added a wall portrait into my bathroom. I also got this one from Dollar Tree. It was $5. And I think it just added just a nice extra touch to these flowers. Y'all excuse my sink. Like, I was rushing this morning, so I had to hurry up and get out of the house. But I'm getting ready to put these little bit of groceries away. And then I'm going to eat. And I'll check back in with you guys once I get my hair finished or starting at some point. So I'll check in with you guys soon. Hey, what's up, you guys? So today is Saturday. I was about to say good morning, but it is not morning. It is clearly 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And yes, I still have on my pajamas. I still, <laughs> I just, y'all, I just, it's so, like, gloomy outside. And it's so, like, cold. I went out earlier because I needed to run to Walgreens. But Walgreens was the closest to the store. I need to get some crackers, some rich crackers, because I am making some vegetable soup today. Um, I needed some more flushable wipes. And also, I want to, I tried this one time. Didn't work out that great, so I decided to give it another try using the shaving powder. Um, so, I'm going to use this again um they say this is supposed to be way better than there i haven't got wet in a while so i've been like narrowing it up so this is supposed to work way better than there's the magic shaving powder so it's supposed to help like with razor bumps and all of that too so i'm going to try this today um just so i can shave and this has been cold y'all like I don't know about y'all. It may not be no shave November no more, but you know, you need a little hair to keep you warm. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, but it's cold. And you know, I have not been showing no skin, so I have not really felt the need to like shave as often as I would in like the spring and summer. But y'all, it's just, it's just, I went out earlier. It's cold, it's gloomy, it's not rainy, but I, I think I am gonna go out a little bit later because I do wanna go to Ulta. I have a gift card. So right now I'm doing my Christmas shopping for myself. And then next week is when I'm going to be getting my Christmas stuff for my nieces. So they're gonna get clothes and shoes. So I have to get their sizes from their moms and just, really go and find them some good stuff for like winter just get them some new clothes and probably order some stuff offline too but um yeah just make sure that they each get some shoes some clothes and that you know they have a good christmas this year they're not getting no toys they have a bunch of toys so i'm not gonna buy any toys i'm gonna just strictly get them clothes and shoes but right now I'm doing a little self-care, doing a little self-love. So I wanna go get me some things for Christmas for myself. I actually do need to go through my makeup because there's a lot of makeup that I could probably get rid of that I don't use anymore, that I don't want, that's expired, old, and I don't need to be using it, especially on my skin. So I'm gonna work on that now. I'm gonna declutter my makeup so that'll give me more motivation to get up and i tried to take a nap y'all but that didn't work out because I really wasn't sleepy like that and tonight i think i'm gonna use my steamer for the first time i'm excited to open it up and try that um so i think i'm gonna do that on camera but right now i need to really go over there and declutter my makeup i just opened my blinds up for the first time in the day that's how i know it's not really gloomy but it's not sunny but it's cold outside it's so cold here in north carolina right now and watch when christmas rolls around it's gonna be warm the warmest day of december is gonna be christmas it's gonna be so crazy but i think i am gonna get up um get um get out and get and get some things done today um just be productive that's really what i want to do be productive i've kind of laid around today and been a little bit lazy i did braid my hair this morning um i did a lazy braid job i didn't even do a braiding job that would last because i didn't want my hair super tight and all that tension on my hair because i am trying to get my hair um 
to remain healthy and I had the worst experience Black Friday with the Africans and all that, bra braiding my hair, that particular African braiding shop. I should have went to the one I normally go to, but right now I just don't want to feel tightness on my head. I've been traumatized. <laughs> so I decided to just do a little quick, little lazy braid job on myself. Just something to get it out of my face, out of the way, get me through the week. Um, and just get me get me to Christmas because I think I'm going to order a wig from Amazon and I'm going to uh, do a wig for Christmas. I might just keep this in. Who knows? I don't know. Because Christmas is next weekend, y'all. I really can't believe it. I'm excited because I have one more week of work and then I get a whole week and a couple days for a break. I'm excited. I'm so excited just to have a break to be able to get up at what time of the day I want, which is still going to be early in the morning, but yeah i just i'm excited to really just get a break and just be able to get some things done so i did my hair already i cleaned my apartment last night i could not go to bed without it getting clean they're doing a deep clean like i wanted to i was gonna get up this morning and do it and i said no i need to enjoy <laughs> my morning i don't want to get up in the morning to clean i still have a few dishes because i ate some leftover spaghetti for lunchtime. i was gonna take a nap but i ain't sleepy like i thought i was so what i'm getting ready to do now is declutter this makeup so that i can go to ulta and you know try to replace some things or get some new things new finds and stuff like that so that's what i'm getting ready to do and then after that um I wash these dishes up and then go out and then get dressed and probably come back home and get started in the soup and do all of that. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do now. All right, you guys, so I just got back home. I went to Ulta, got a couple items, and then I also went to Food Line to um, grab these. I cannot, it was so, it used to be so difficult to find these, but, um, I really wanted to get a bottle of wine, but then I saw the Jack Daniels, the Southern Peach, the drink in collaboration collaboration with Kay Michelle. So um, I got some of those. Make sure y'all ain't drinking unless you're 21 and up now. Okay, be safe, be responsible. Um, but I'm gonna show y'all what I got from Ulta really, really quick. So this is what I got. Let me show y'all got four items um this is my first time purchasing anything from black opal but i definitely want to go back and get some more of their products this is their um foundation stick um skin perfecting stick foundation i got the shade truly topaz i'm not sure if this is my color but i hope it is i didn't test it in the store the store is so busy so i didn't really shop around how i wanted to i got two of these essence juicy bombs um lip glosses this one is, they're both shiny lip glosses. This one is mint, sweet mint, number 10. And this one is berry, pretty plum, 08, number eight. So I thought it was berry. Then I also, because it is winter time and I love my nudes and my browns and mauves, I got this lip contour kit from Makeup Revolution. And this one is the shade, the, it's some, so I said the D, Divine. That I knew it started to be divine. So I haven't opened it yet, but um, I'm excited to see what the color looks like on me. So I'm gonna try that on and everything like that. But I'm gonna go ahead on and put a pin in this vlog, really go ahead and end this vlog because I need to go ahead and get started on dinner. I'm making vegetable soup. I also need to take some clothes and put them into the dryer, fold them up. I'm sorry, fold up some clothes that are in the dryer, then put um, my sheets and my comforter in the dryer so that they can dry and I can make up my bed and do all of that stuff. So I wanna get ready to do that, fold some clothes up and get ready to start on dinner and just chillax and just kinda take this night to do like a self-care night, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here. This is vlogmas week 
three you guys thank you guys so much for supporting me on this vlogmas journey this has been so much easier to do than doing a video every single day so until i become a full youtube full youtuber i'm gonna have to claim it in existence then i'll be doing vlogmas um just weekly but hopefully next year we can do vlogmas every day so i can participate in vlogmas 2023 20, but this is easier for me right now, especially with my work schedule and other things that I have to do and I have going on. So right now, I'm just gonna ready to chill for the rest of the night, dinner, and tomorrow is Sunday. Um, reset for a new week. Like I said, next week is my last work week until I get a whole week break. And I'm excited about that. I'll definitely be doing some videos, vlogging, it'll free up more time for me to really give you guys some more videos and content. So please stay tuned for vlogs and videos coming Within the next two weeks, um, try to hit up three video, get three videos up that week. But right now, I need to finish doing everything that I need to do, laundry, and get started on cooking. So thank you guys so much for supporting Vlogmas Week 1, Week 2, and this is Vlogmas Week 3, y'all.